Have you ever wondered about the mysterious depths of the ocean and wondered what secrets might be hidden there? We find ourselves navigating through a universe that is both amazing and terrifying as we begin out on a voyage into a world of strange allure and astounding insights. Scientists are puzzled and enthralled by recent spine-tingling undersea discoveries as they try to unravel the profound mysteries still veiled in the watery depths. Let's explore these most terrifying underwater discoveries and reveal the mysteries hiding beneath the calm surface of our limitless oceans. The limits of our current knowledge are pushed by these startling new discoveries, which compels us to reconsider the unexplored areas that lie beneath the seas. With each new revelation, we are taken further into a story that has enthralled historians, archaeologists, and divers for many years. These discoveries provide us a tantalizing look into the mysterious world hidden beneath the azure expanse, from the remains of sunken ships that whisper tales of maritime history to the ancient ruins that bore witness to civilizations long ago. The underwater world is captivating not only because of its unexplored depths, but also because it inspires awe and curiosity in people. As we descend, we are enticed into a world where time appears to have stopped, and the commonplace gives way to the extraordinary. It is a world where the well-known and unknown coexist. It is a world that begs us to explore it by removing the layers of mystery. So, inhale deeply and get ready to descend into the depths, where our hungry minds and the secrets of the deep await. SS Gersapa Shipwreck During World War II, the steam-powered British commercial ship SS Gersapa met a tragic end when it was sunk by a German U-boat on February 17, 1941. The ship, carrying a priceless cargo of silver, pig iron, and tea, was sailing from India to Britain. After the attack, the Gersapa sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, where it eventually came to rest around 300 miles off the coast of Ireland. Along with the expensive cargo, this disaster took the lives of 85 out of 86 crew members. It wasn't until 2011, a full seven decades later, that the wreckage of the SS Gersapa was finally located by Odyssey Marine Exploration, a company specialized in deep sea shipwreck investigation. It was one of the deepest shipwrecks ever discovered because of its remarkable location at a depth of around 15,000 feet. The recovery of the Gersapa's treasure proved to be a tremendous achievement, representing the largest and most thorough recovery of precious metals from a shipwreck in documented history. Over the course of several years, Odyssey Marine Exploration carried out a number of operations with the goal of recovery. In the end, they were successful in recovering more than 110 tons of silver, an accumulation with a startling $200 million worth. This shocking discovery drew attention from all over the world while also highlighting the SS Gersapa's tragic story and that of its brave crew, who overcame impossible odds in the middle of a brutal war. The wreckage of the SS Gersapa serves as a constant reminder of the dangers involved in maritime navigation during times of war, and is evidence of the depths to which history can descend buried beneath the expanse of the ocean. The Yonaguni Monument the Yonaguni Monument, an unexplained underwater object that was found in 1986 off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan, has captured the interest of scholars and sparked a variety of disputes about its origin. The mysterious structure is made up of enormous stepped sandstone terraces, some of which soar up to 90 feet in height, that are buried about 60 feet beneath the surface of the water. Some academics have suggested that the monument may be the remnant of an ancient human-crafted building potentially dating its origins back more than 10,000 years to the previous Ice Age. This hypothesis is supported by the monument's meticulously accurate geometric patterns and its apparent planned construction. The Yonaguni Monument, according to proponents of this theory, could be a piece of a bigger sunken city or possibly a sacred site, drawing comparisons to recognized ancient civilizations' architectural designs. On the other hand, other people maintain that the formation is the consequence of geological factors that have been at work for thousands of years, including tidal currents, sedimentation, and the fracture of sandstone strata. It is still a hotly debated and researched topic as to what the Yonaguni Monument's true origins are. The site continues to draw divers and academics from all over the world, lured by its intriguing appearance and the mystery surrounding its genesis, despite the fact that concrete evidence to unmistakably prove either explanation is still lacking. Furthermore, the intrigue deepens as other subaqueous structures have emerged in nearby waters, inciting speculation that the Yonaguni Monument might be an integral component of a more expansive underwater complex, awaiting comprehensive exploration. Whether it embodies a natural marvel or the remnants of an erstwhile civilization, the Yonaguni Monument retains its status as one of the most captivating and spine-chilling underwater revelations. It evokes a profound sense of awe and fascination, 
compelling us to contemplate the concealed enigmas unfurling beneath the unfathomable depths of the ocean. The Antikythera Mechanism The puzzling Antikythera Mechanism, discovered in 1901 among the wreckage of an ancient Greek ship in Antikythera Island, has astounded scholars and altered our understanding of ancient technology. This artifact, which is made up of a complex system of gears and dials, and is thought to have been created between 100 and 200 BCE, has a high level of engineering and artistry that is noticeably ahead of its time. The gadget, which is frequently acclaimed as the first analog computer in history, is believed to have been used for calculations involving the stars and the calendar. The device, with its intricate gears and points, accurately anticipated the positions of celestial bodies, recorded important events like the ancient Olympic Games within the Greek calendar, and even predicted lunar and solar eclipses with astounding accuracy. It has challenged our understanding of the development of science and engineering throughout history. The discovery of the Antikythera mechanism has led to questions concerning the scope of technical development in antiquity. Some academics suggest that it may have been the work of an unusually talented school of ancient Greek engineers or a brilliant lone inventor due to its outstanding precision and intricate design, which are unmatched by contemporaneous artifacts. Numerous details of the Antikythera mechanism, including its precise function and the identities of its designers, remain unknown despite a century of research. As modern researchers use cutting-edge imaging technology to gain a greater understanding of its internal workings, this device continues to be the subject of intense study and interest today. The Antikythera mechanism is a chilling reminder of the technological prowess that lies hidden beneath the ocean's depths, waiting to be discovered and understood. It stands as a tribute to the amazing ingenuity of the ancient Greeks. The Lost City of Heracleion The ancient Egyptian harbor of Heracleion, also known as Thonis, suddenly sank beneath the Mediterranean. Before being discovered in 2000 by underwater archaeologists under the direction of Frank Gaudio, Knowledge of its existence was limited to writings and tales. These submerged ruins, which are close to modern Alexandria, shed light on Egyptian architecture, trade, and culture. Heracleion, which was established about the 8th century BCE, flourished as an important hub of trade and religion and was home to temples, statues, canals, and harbors. Its precise demise is unknown. However, it may have been brought on by soil shifts, earthquakes, and sea level rise between the 3rd and 2nd century BCE. It was named after the Greek hero Heracles, who is said to have traveled there in myth. It turned into mythology as it sank and vanished from people's memories. Intricate carvings, gold coins, and god sculptures are among the artifacts discovered during ongoing excavations, which give light on the region's significance and contacts with the Mediterranean. The tale of Heraclean serves as a warning about how weak civilizations are in the face of nature. With the discovery of a long-buried section of history, it captivates both academics and the general audience. The Underwater River in Mexico. A subterranean river is revealed by the magnificent underwater wonder Sino de Angelita, which is located on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This illusionary phenomenon enthralls divers and scientists on first encounter. However, the 100 feet deep hydrogen sulfide layer that appears as the apparent river is actually the Sino's hydrogen sulfide layer. This layer results from organic matter decomposition, creating a dense, toxic boundary separating fresh water above from salt water below. As divers descend through pristine fresh water, they traverse a murky expanse mimicking a flowing riverbed, adorned with sunken trees and debris. One of the few opportunities to see hidden underwater beauties is the strange dive into Cenote Angelita. This natural wonder's mysterious and menacing beauty serves as a somber reminder of the infinite surprises that await us beneath the watery horizons of our world. The Bimini Road Since its discovery in 1968, the mysterious underwater structure known as the Bimini Road, located close to the Bahamas, has piqued curiosity and spawned rumors. The structure, which extends for more than half a mile, is made of sizable limestone pieces that have been carefully placed in alignment on the seafloor. Some have suggested that these blocks are the remains of a long-gone human-made structure, possibly a wall or road, due to their consistency and pattern. Some proponents of the Bimini Road's man-made origins have connected it to the fabled lost city of Atlantis, implying that it might represent a component of the culture that is said to have vanished beneath the waters. However, scientific research suggests that the Bimini Road is most likely a natural geological formation, created over thousands of years by slow, erosive processes. Researchers, divers, 
and those who are interested in the secrets of the underwater world continue to be drawn to the mysterious presence of the Bimini Road, despite the continuous controversy about its origins. The Bimini Road is nevertheless a fascinating and seductive underwater discovery. Regardless of whether it is a product of ancient human genius or a tribute to the forces of nature, the Baltic Sea Anomaly, the mysterious underwater formation known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, which was discovered in 2011 by the Swedish diving team Ocean X, has drawn the interest of both scientists and the general public. This mystery item measures around 200 feet in length and rises to a height of 26 feet, and it is located about 200 feet below the surface of the Baltic Sea. Numerous ideas about its origins and makeup have been inspired by its unique shape and composition. The anomaly has sparked a number of theories due to its roughly round shape, features that resemble a stairway and dismal long corridor. Some have suggested that it might be an underwater ancient metropolis, while others have even suggested that it might be the wreckage of a crashed UFO or an extraterrestrial building. The wide range of hypotheses reflects the cryptic nature of the discovery and ranges from the plausible to the outlandish. The Baltic Sea anomaly is mostly made up of volcanic rock and glacial deposits that date back to the last ice age, according to later analyses. As a result, some scientists believe that although the formation is unique, it is most likely a natural geological phenomena. Though others remain skeptical and continue to support alternative explanations, the anomaly's distinctive look and the existence of what appear to be skid tracks on the seafloor have left some skeptical. Adding to the intrigue, the Ocean X team reported encountering anomalous electrical malfunctions in proximity to the anomaly. Some people have attributed these occurrences to the object itself or to an enigmatic energy source. The mystery and curiosity surrounding the Baltic Sea anomaly have only become stronger as a result of these phenomena, despite the fact that no definitive explanations for them have been offered. The mysterious Baltic Sea anomaly continues to pique the interest of both experts and amateurs as they work to understand its puzzling characteristics. It is still a source of ardent debate, curiosity, and investigation. The real cause of the anomaly and its intended use may never be known, as has happened with many other subaquatic discoveries which will likely lead people to wonder about the unexplored depths beneath our waters. The Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench, which is the deepest oceanic trench on Earth, stretches to an astounding depth of around 36,000 feet. This enormous undersea chasm, which is located in the western Pacific Ocean, has long captivated scientists and explorers due to its supposedly unfathomable depths and the mysteries it conceals. The Mariana Trench is one of the toughest and least hospitable places on Earth because of the extreme conditions there, which include crushing pressures, sub-zero temperatures, and complete darkness. However, despite these overwhelming obstacles, life continues in this abysmal realm. Researchers have found a wide variety of species in the Mariana Trench. Microorganisms, deep-sea fish, and invertebrates are some examples of these, since they have developed special adaptations to survive in this hostile environment. Numerous scientific missions have been started over the years with the goal of understanding the geology, biology, and chemistry of the trench. When explorer and filmmaker James Cameron used a specially made submersible to make the first solo plunge to the trench's deepest point, known as Challenger Deep, in 2012, it was a momentous accomplishment. This remarkable achievement highlighted the continuous need for exploration and research in these far-off and unknown depths. However, the Mariana Trench continues to be a challenge for scientists, as well as one of the planet's most mysterious and uncharted locations. They are still on the hunt for answers about this strange area and the unique life forms that live there. The Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls are considered the most important archaeological discovery of the 20th century, despite not having been discovered underwater. These antiquated texts, which were unearthed between 1947 and 1956 in the area of the Dead Sea, include a substantial collection of Jewish writings that includes the Hebrew Bible, apocryphal works, and writings from numerous sects. These manuscripts, which were primarily written on parchment and papyrus, were kept secret in caves to protect them from the turbulent times of their day. The Dead Sea Scrolls provide priceless glimpses into Jewish history, society, and faith throughout the Second Temple period, 530 BCE, 70 CE, as well as priceless information on the development of the Hebrew Bible and the beginnings of Christianity. Surprisingly, the scrolls contain some of the earliest examples of biblical literature, predating previously discovered manuscripts by about a millennium. Our understanding of the religious and social environments of that time have been fundamentally altered as a result of this revelation. 
The scrolls give a more thorough understanding of the historical context from which Christianity developed by shedding light on the complex beliefs and practices of many Jewish sects. The Dead Sea Scrolls are destined to continue as an essential resource for understanding the founding eras of two of the world's major religions, as long as scholars continue their study and interpretation of these ancient documents. The Great Blue Hole the Great Blue Hole, a sizable underwater sinkhole off the coast of Belize, is a popular diving location and a magnificent example of natural beauty. This unique geological wonder, which has a diameter of around 1,000 feet and a depth of more than 400 feet, is a part of the larger Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System, which is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Great Blue Hole was created during glacial periods when rising sea levels drowned an extensive cave network, creating the alluring circular shape that adorns our view today. The sinkhole stands out for its intense azure color, which contrasts sharply with the turquoise waters that surround it and gives it an air of mystery and fascination. Divers who descend into the Great Blue Hole can be amazed by its sheer walls, covered in a wide variety of coral species and a vivid assortment of marine life. The hole's impressive stalactite formations, which are a testament to its origin as a subterranean cave complex, become visible at higher depths. In addition to its stunning beauty, the Great Blue Hole is an important center for marine research. It is an important location for marine study because it gives researchers important information about how the geological and biological processes that have shaped this unique underwater scene interact. The Silfra Fissure the Silfra Fissure is a world-famous underwater chasm and geological wonder that attracts divers and snorkelers from all over the world to Iceland's Thingvellir National Park. This fissure, which is surrounded by glacial water that is remarkably clean, is the result of the tectonic plates of Europe and North America, continuing to move apart at a rate of around an inch each year. Because the Silfra Fissure lies precisely between these two tectonic plates, diving or snorkeling into it offers the unusual opportunity to touch two continents at once. The fissure's water comes from the adjacent Langecoe Glacier and filters through porous volcanic rock over many years, producing exceptional visibility that frequently surpasses 300 feet. As one descends into the Silfra Fissure, they are greeted by a breathtaking underwater scene that is made up of effervescent rock formations, caves, and tunnels that are decorated with vibrant green and blue hues that are accentuated by the interaction of light with the crystal clear water. The fissure supports an unusual ecosystem of algae and specialized invertebrates that are tolerant of the harsh conditions despite the year-round low temperatures of 35 to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. With its combination of geological marvel, exceptional visibility, and the thrill of exploring the line where two continents converge, the Silfra fissure provides divers and snorkelers an experience like no other. This encounter is truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The SS Thistlegorm Shipwreck the British cargo ship SS Thistlegorm, which sank in the Red Sea during World War II, has turned into a famous wreck and a popular diving location. The ship was laden with supplies and equipment for the British 8th Army in North Africa when it was attacked by German planes in October 1941, and it sank to the ocean below. The SS Thistlegorm wreck, which is located at a depth of about 100 feet, is easily accessible and attracts divers from all over the world. It has evolved into an artificial reef throughout time, supporting a rich and diversified marine habitat that thrives in this subaquatic setting. Divers exploring the SS Thistlegorm can explore the ship's ruins and find a fascinating assortment of goods, including preserved vehicles like locomotives, lorries, armored cars, and motorcycles that have been preserved in the wreckage for all of time. Along with personal items from crew members and troops still being present, there are also sad reminders of the human cost of war scattered among the ruins. A singular window into World War II history and the costs paid by those who fought is provided by the SS Thistlegorm shipwreck. The SS Thistlegorm continually tells its story from beneath the waves as divers explore the remnants of this once powerful ship, serving as both a memorial and a testament to the never-ending appeal of underwater research. The Underwater Sculpture Park the Underwater Sculpture Park, located in the Caribbean off the coast of Grenada, is a mesmerizing synthesis of creative expression and environmental preservation. This park, designed by British artist Jason DeCares Taylor, features a variety of life-size sculptures that have been painstakingly sunk to form an artificial reef. This reef supports marine life and provides divers and snorkelers with a unique underwater experience. These sculptures, which are made of eco-friendly materials, show a variety of human figures and situations, and convey deep ideas about our relationship to the environment, the passage of time, and the vulnerability of our surroundings. 
the sculptures transform into dynamic, ever-changing aquatic ecosystems that house fish and other marine life as they get older, embracing a shroud of coral, algae, and marine development. Beyond its role as a visually striking artistic installation, the underwater sculpture park plays a pivotal role in marine preservation. By offering an artificial reef, the park helps relieve pressure on nearby natural reefs, which are routinely harmed by overfishing and the effects of climate change. Additionally, the park keeps visitors and divers away from environmentally vulnerable areas, minimizing human interaction with the regional marine ecosystem. The underwater sculpture park is evidence of how powerfully art can move people, impart knowledge, and foster a closer bond with nature. It constantly enthralls and immerses viewers in the form of a dynamic underwater gallery, enhancing the vitality and harmony of the marine environment it calls home. The Lake Michigan Stonehenge. The Lake Michigan Stonehenge, a mysterious underwater structure found in Lake Michigan's depths, was discovered by archaeologists and divers in 2007. This site, which is made up of several large stones set in a circle, has drawn comparisons to the well-known prehistoric structure Stonehenge in England. Between researchers and the general public, its presence has sparked a lively mix of curiosity and discussion. These stones have been dated to a period when the area was above water and several of them feature elaborate carvings. They date to a period between 9,000 and 10,000 years ago. This has led to suggestion that the Lake Michigan Stonehenge may have been a part of a larger prehistoric community or ceremonial area that was submerged over time as the Great Lakes water levels rose. The original purpose and history of the Lake Michigan Stonehenge continue to be a topic of discussion and investigation. Some academics speculate that it may have been used for astronomical observations or as a sacred area for rituals and ceremonies, while others put forth a more practical use, such as a fish weir or navigational landmark. The Lake Michigan Stonehenge gives a fascinating look into the early history of the Great Lakes region and the indigenous cultures that once called its shores home. Even as researchers work to solve the mysteries of the site's cryptic past and enigmatical puzzles. This subaquatic memorial serves as a reminder of the hidden mysteries that exist beneath the surface of our planet, yet have not yet been fully explored and understood.